So hello everyone. Hey, it's been a wild few weeks that we've we've had here here at Azure. Um, the quality of the product that we're able to get has been pretty good. We've been amazingly able to source a lot of great food, although maybe not as fast as it used to be. So our out of stocks are still higher than we would like to see, but it's not mostly not because we can't get it. It's because our suppliers are backed up and many times they don't have adequate staff and are just taking a lot longer. And one of the things that's been even more difficult than just about anything is the packaging. So I want to go show you some of the things that we've been doing. Uh, we just flat can't get the packaging that we normally get. It's not available. It's running really, really slow. <clears throat> It'll be available in six weeks. And we don't want to be out of product for all you good folks just because <clears throat> we don't have the right kind of packaging. So we've been innovating. So normally, <clears throat> normally we have you know, for small packages, they look something like this. This is actually slightly, sometimes we're using the wrong size, as in this case, slightly too large a bag, but um, we do have this particular size. Um, we're also using uh, plain, lighter paper bags. Not exactly what I want to be doing, but hey, better than being out of product. We've gotten a few of this. And, but many times we just flat can't get anything that's the right size and we've resorted to this just plastic packaging and we've had some complaints about that because we definitely that is not what we want to be doing but we felt like it was better than not shipping the product for lack of packaging so you you very well may be getting product in this kind of packaging the same goes for our bulk packaging. I mean, we usually always put it in paper. Lately, we have been having to put it in uh, many things in a woven poly bag like this. Um, we've had several people ask, how are you able to uh, get it out without getting shreds of plastic in? And I want to show you how that can be done easily. Um, there's always this, so if you, if you feel like just pulling the string, it'll always come undone. You can come out of the side, but a lot of people, most people want to um, cut the bag open to get the product out. So here's a little trick to keep the poly together. Put, simply tape your area that you're going to cut. Put tape on it, like so. That will hold all the poly in place. Then take out your handy dandy knife and cut right down your tape. All the poly, no shreds. Nice and tight, holds on, nothing falls out. All right, just wanted to share that with everybody because we've, ha we've had a lot of uh, questions about that. So <clears throat> another place that we have had to innovate a lot for the last several weeks is on our delivery routes. We, we've many times we've had two, three, and even four loads where we would normally send one. Now that's great, but finding quickly enough the extra tr drivers, trucks, and trailers has been a little bit of a challenge. So one of the things that we have done over the years is we have gotten all dual temp trailers so that everything in the front is frozen and in the back is, is refrigerated. And we spent a lot of time, energy, and money making that happen. But that's only been in the last seven or eight years. Before that, in the 25 years that Azure delivered before that, we always did deliver in single temp refrigerated trucks. 
So when we go, when we have to go and get extra equipment, you can't just rent dual temp trailers off the lot. They don't exist. They're made special order. You have to buy them from somebody who had them made special order if you get them used. They're not readily available. So what we have done in several cases, we've used every dual temp trailer that we have <laughs> for sure. But in some cases, there just have not been enough. And we've had to rent other trailers. And those trailers end up being refrigerated only. But what we do, and we did this for 20 years all the time, so I know it works, and it works well. But we take and refrigerate the whole load, cool it to somewhere in the you know, 37 to 40 degree range, and then take the frozen goods and put them in a freezer called a freezer blanket. So they're special insulated pads that go around just the size of a pallet. And then we put the frozen inside of that and cover it with dry ice and blankets. So what that does is it holds the frozen in and it keeps the frozen frozen in even though the trailer itself is you know, above freezing. And it'll hold that way for, you know, for a week or more. Um, and we've done that. Now we have had a couple instances where drivers didn't quite understand it, new driver, all that. It's been, it's been difficult. So we've, we've had a couple situations where it didn't go perfectly, but we do know that this works. We've done it for many, many years before we went to the dual temp trailer. Obviously that's better. That's why we spent the time and energy to do that. Comes out, products is, you know, just as froze as it would be coming out of a freezer. Especially if it's gonna sit out at a drop for an hour or two before everyone's able to get it home. Makes a lot of sense. But in order to innovate, to get your product to you, we've had to rent single temp trailers in some cases. So we're, we're doing the best that we can to innovate in every way that we possibly can to get the product to, to you in great shape and as much of it as we possibly can. Thank you for your understanding. I know this must seem convoluted, but we're, we're doing our absolute best to get you the best quality product all the time. Thank you for shopping with Azure during this time.